Hi friends. Uh, thanks for watching my video. This is FreePathToWealth.com. I'm making this video because I wanted to share with you a really neat um, trick that I found uh, regarding MailChimp. By default, MailChimp forces you to do a double opt-in into the with their forms. Um, there's there's two ways people can opt in in your forms. In case you don't know, it's single form and uh, it's single opt-in and double opt-in. Single opt-in is just when you enter your email. You'll see that you've entered your email and your name. You hit subscribe or enter. Or just you hit a button and then you just you have immediate access to whatever feature it is that you're trying to um, access, whether it be a report or a video or whatever. You quickly you immediately are in, put into their list and you instantly get the download. A double opt-in, it works a little differently. <clears throat> it works in the, in, in, in the sense that you have to sort of like wait, almost like a, almost like a double a double interaction with you. Um, you enter your email, enter your name, you hit the button, and then nothing happens. It says to you, oh, you need to verify your email. Please check your email and hit the confirm link. So it's sort of like it's forcing you to confirm who you are to ensure it's a valid email and to ensure you're really interested in, in joining the, um, the, the, uh, the website or the form or the, or the newsletter or whatever it is you try to access. Um, it's a great, I agree. I, I mean, I think it's great to do a double opt-in, but sometimes you just, you just want a single opt-in. Um, just... You just say, you know, the heck with it. I just want to do a single. So that, that's where I am now. I'm trying. I really want to. I'm making a landing page, and I really want a single opt-in, and that's it. I don't want a double opt-in. So I kept looking, kept looking, and I had found that <coughs> Mailchimp says they require a double opt-in process. It says it right here on their website, Mailchimp.com. When you use Mailchimp sign-up forms, you require the double opt-in process. It says it here, right here in black and white, there's not a way to turn off or otherwise disable the email that asks folks to confirm their subscription to your list. So there it is. It says it right there. Um, so, But I kept looking because I'm, you know, companies say what they say and they do what they do, but then sometimes, you know, they're, they're workarounds. So I, I kept looking and I did. I found a workaround. I found the form of someone saying, use our API and modify the list subscribe method. Um... So I looked it up and I found on MailChimp.com's website the list subscribe method in their API documentation. Now, <clears throat> this is really quick and easy. This is you, you can add, uh, modify the form to do double opt-in uh, easily. You don't need to be a programmer or anything. I'm just showing you this so you could see that um, MailChimp does allow it. Um, it's so. If you see this, I do a quick search on the page. I want to see a description of this. And here it is. This, this is a parameter to the function, and it's optional. And it says here, you can control whether a double opt-in confirmation message is sent. The default to true. <clears throat> so if you set it to false, it would turn off double opt-in and make the single opt-in. Does MailChimp allow this? Clearly they do because it's in their API, but they do put a disclaimer here saying abusing this may cause your account to be suspended. So they really prefer you use double opt-in. Um, so if you use single opt-in, do it carefully and um, just be aware that you know they do have the right to disable your account. But with that said, I want to show you how easy it is to do. So let's let's do it. Um, do it. Three easy steps, right? Let's change your MailChimp opt-in form to use single opt-in with WordPress in three easy steps. So we're going to step one, log into your WordPress site. Step two, find the MailChimp plugin. Step three, modify the list subscribe function. <clears throat> Again, it's easy to do, so don't worry, anybody can do this. Um, let's just jump in and do it. So here's my site, freepathtowealth.com. I want to log into the site. Step one, done. Let's go to step two. Find the plugin. Find the actual MailChimp plugin. Um, and if you don't have that, you can install it <clears throat> really easily. Just look up MailChimp 
on a plug-in search. For me, it is right here, Belchim. And it's version 141, which matches this API version um, 131. So I think I'm good. So let's do this. You go in there. Find the plugin. Step two, find it. Plugins, MailChimp, edit. So plugins, MailChimp, click edit. Once you're here, you want to notice this is PHP source code and it's huge. Again, don't freak out, don't shut this off, it's very easy to do. Control F, look for the function, list, subscribe, there it is. Now here, right after email type, this is where this API has a double opt-in of set to true or false, of Boolean, which really means true or false. But you see, there's email type, there's double opt-in. So if you go back to the source code after you search, it's the same function they're talking about. So right here, you set a comma. By default, it's true. So you just have to force it to override the default of true and say false. That's it. Just add a false after the email type. Click update your file. And you're done. That's it. It's that easy. You just have to add the false. Now I wanted to show you live that this works. Um, here's my test list that I created just for the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, as you can see, I have no subscribers. So we're going to go to my site. And on the side here, you'll see my MailChimp. Form. So let's, I don't know, let's add email, test, 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 hit subscribe. Oh, well, there's one thing I forgot to do. Bummer. It's not going to work. Bear with me. Um, settings, MailChimp setup. I need to change this to my test list. Yep. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now when I go back, should be good. And let's go back <clears throat> and try an opt in again. Now, this form should not be attached to my test list from in my MailChimp account. So we shall see. Shall, shall see. I get this, uh, this message. Please look for a confirmation email, but I really shouldn't see one. And when I hit refresh, there we go, refresh. Now, there we are. There's an email I just signed up for. So you can see as soon as I, because I put that false in that list subscribe function in the MailChimp source code, which you can easily do, um, and I saved it. I didn't receive a confirmation email and MailChimp immediately added the email address to my list without having a double opt-in. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, let me know if there are any questions, concerns. Um, I tried to go over this pretty quickly, but you know, you can always hit all the spots. Um, again, three easy steps. Log in, find the plugin. Edit the plugin, find the list subscribe function, and right at the very end, add false. Save it, and you're done. It's that easy. I hope this helped you. Leave me a comment. Check out my site. Um, let me know if you have any other cool tips, especially with MailChimp. Now, if you don't have MailChimp, you definitely should get it. It's free. You get the first 2,000 first 2,000 subscribers are free, so you should be good to go. I highly recommend it.
especially now that I figured out how to do single opt-in. Uh, to me, it's a done deal. I'll be using this for the future to come. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.